Time now for Weather Watch with meteorologist Matt Makins. The last time we spoke was a weather watch that talked about kind of the spring options headed toward a neutral phase, what that meant for precipitation and things. I thought it would be important because some people have asked, has this event really lived up to its expectations? This event, meaning this El Nino event. So let's do that in today's weather watch. Uh, October to March, temperatures during strong El Ninos and the cold season uh, precipitation during strong El Ninos. And then we'll bring in what has happened so far. So temperatures to date and precipitation totals to date. How are they comparing? Let's take a closer look. Well, temperatures very warm, much warmer than average for the upper Midwest and New England. There's some pockets of colder stuff down here in the southeast and to the southwest into the central plains, mostly the, the central Rockies. And for precip, focused heavily so far this season on the west coast, central plains into the upper Midwest, the southeast and New England and mid-Atlantic. So we're seeing kind of this pattern of it's definitely an El Nino pattern, especially when you look at the temperatures. And let's see how the temperatures compare. That's not bad. It's not bad for an outlook. Was expecting something like this, and we're having this. Pretty close match overall. What about precipitation? During strong events, you expect something like this. And here we have this outcome right now. We're seeing in history a lot more water down across the south. We're kind of missing out on that in New Mexico, Texas, East Oklahoma so far this season. It's been shifted up to the north a little bit. And that's due to kind of the strength overall of this El Nino event. At times, it, it really hasn't been that strong at all. Uh, the oceans have remained a very strong El Nino, but the atmosphere at times has just been like ignoring that, that part of the oceans. So what does history say? A return to El Nino only happens 14% of the time at this point. Period of neutral? 21%, what's much more likely for La Nina to develop at 64% likelihood. And that's what's going to happen. We're going to be back into La Nina by, say, the summer, if not right in the summer, by fall at the latest. And we'll have more on what that means for your summer outlook in future weather watches. Until then, Matt Makins here.